My name is Robin Metobo. I'm the founder's uh, fifth born, and I'm the one who took over from mom when my dad got sick and uh, passed away. I sort of took over running of the home. Around uh, 20 years ago, my mother, who's the founder of Motherly Care Children's Home, had an accident as she was traveling. When the accident happened, she was pregnant with our second born, my brother's son. And mom made a promise to God that if God was to take care of the brother, my brother, and uh, was born without any issues, that she in turn would take care of kids after a certain time. And Motherly Care was born out of that promise to God and also for the need of taking care of these kids. Around the 20 years ago, mom went out and brought kids from the street. Some of the kids were just brought to her. It became a shelter, and after some time, the need of education arose. Since the schools here were not very accepting to these kids because of lack of any formal education, she was told to start a formal school, and it started here as a formal school. Actually, the particular main house that we're looking at right now housed the classrooms and everything else. And um, now, many years after that, we have a formal school. We've had uh, kids who've graduated from here and the school is doing really well. As of now, we have close to 70 kids who are attending primary, 22 kids who are out in secondary, and then we have several kids who are in university or colleges right now, technical schools. So it's, it's not finished, we are, we are working on the floors. Um, but the thing with us here is we, we have to decide where money is best used. Sometimes you get money, and um, like right now, somebody was just telling me there's a kid who's not well. Um, whatever we had and whatever plans we have then, because we don't have any emergency funds for things like that, then the, it goes there. But whatever a donor gives money to, we always make sure that that is catered for, even if it means coming from my pocket or anything like that. We, we always honor, we always honor whatever the donor has requested. There are things that we need, probably like mosquito nets. I think we had to decide be between them and, and, and blankets, because it's cold right now. So blankets won that fight. My mom's one thing was um, to teach these kids about God, but more than that is also to give them a chance that they were not given so that they could be able to have a future to become citizens and probably productive citizens of this country. We have alumni, and these are kids who started in this program and have finished, and they are able now to support themselves. Some of them have started their family, some of them are married, and when we see this, our joy is like we were able to impact these kids in a positive way. Yes. Yeah. This is the artist. So yeah. what's your name? Purity. Purity? Yes. That's so pretty. Thank you. It is, and you are so pretty. Hey, you need one? I just want to first start by just saying thank you on behalf of the Nimwange Foundation. When we came here, the initial thought was that we were going to come and inspire you to keep dreaming, keep doing stuff. But I think the reality is you inspired us. You've redefined what gratitude's all about. I've been coming to this home for over 10 years now. I've never heard you guys complain ever. I do want to share one thing. Last November, that was the day my nephew was born. I was at the hospital. Um, to see the baby. My mother gave me the phone. It was Grandma Mary. And then she told me, she said, listen, you know, do me a favor, I'm not feeling well now, but please never forget my children. That's the last time I talked to her. But my promise to her was that as long as I have life, I'm gonna do everything that I can for you guys. I'm gonna try to rally as much people as I can, because I think you guys are wonderful. Majority of the people who've been helping this thing are donors who are not close by. Uh, Nyamwange's family actually started from the mother and the father who were just supporting these kids individually and now it's become an organization which is run by their son. So in that we are grateful for organizations like that but especially Nyamwange's family. We are partnering with them from now going forward and we hope that this partnership is going to make our lives of continuing to rescue these kids, continuing to give education to these kids and continuing to give these kids a second chance in life possible with their help.